The following interview was conducted with Keith Kroc, uh, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Purdue University for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Monday, February 8, 2010, Stewart Center, B26. Welcome. Good afternoon to you. Thank you. Thank you, you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's pleasure. talk about uh, where and when you were born and the early years. Well, I, I grew up in uh, Rocky River, Ohio, which is right outside of Cleveland, and uh, from a German family. My my father was uh, came over from Germany, and uh, um, had do you have any brothers or sisters? I do. I have two sisters. Okay. Yeah. Where did you go to? Where, let's talk about grade school and high school. What was that? So, so I went to uh, Kensington High School and uh, and and, and uh, actually Rocky River High School and Kensington Grade School. Okay. What about any student organizations that you were involved in? Uh, pretty much in the athletic area. So I I played football and, and baseball and uh, and some how'd basketball. How did the teams do? Okay. Uh, we were all right. We held our own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, how did you happen to come to Purdue? Um, That's where you came it, next. After right. That. Right. So. Um, uh, I was working in my dad's uh, factory for uh, during the summer. Your father had a company mm -hmm. there. Or, yeah, it was uh, a small machine shop. He called it Litco Industries. Max employment was five people. That was in the good days, and uh, and I and I just thought, boy, that would be a great opportunity to go to Purdue and study engineering. And uh, I had a another football player guy who was on our team who decided to come to Purdue and study engineering. So we came together. Very good. Okay, well tell us a little about your days at Purdue. I know you got your degree in industrial engineering. How about professors and student organizations and yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Did you get come on an athletic scholarship? No, oh, I did, did no, you play? I did not. I, I only played baseball my freshman year. Oh, but I, I, but then I found out that they could that? hit a curveball, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I studied industrial engineering. Professor Barony was my counselor. I think he's going to retire this year after 50-some years. Um, and uh, I, I did a lot of activities. My probably my favorite one was Old Master, uh, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, and you've also been you've come as as Old Master, did you? I, ha you I that, did. I yeah, think I, I came so. back in two thousand or something. Very nice. Yeah, and then uh, also uh, I'm a Sigma Chi, and I was the president of the Sigma Chi House there. Wonder who as else is in Sigma Chi <laughs> that I know that was <laughs> right. in the news yesterday? <laughs> right, exactly. Drew He'll Brees. come to me, right? A lot of quarterbacks went through Sigma Chi. <laughs> Oh, so you keep in touch. Uh, where did you live on? Did, then you lived in the, Where did you live when you first came? Uh, I lived at Cary Quad. Okay, that and was then, great. Yeah, yeah. That that's the oldest one on campus. Very close. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. what? Uh, then did you go? Then tell us what at, what came next after you graduated. Uh, well, uh, General Motors came on campus back back in back then, and they uh, they gave me a General Motors scholarship. They picked a a, a woman on campus and also a man, and so then. Uh, I went off to uh, Cadillac and worked there in the summers, and then when oh, I while you were still while you were at Purdue, I was, well, I was still at Purdue. Uh -huh. And then uh, after I graduated, I went off to Harvard Business School. Okay, and then you've got little talk about your career path. You started with General Motors, then is that right? Right. Okay. Right. So, Tell us a little about that. Right. So when I when I left uh, Harvard, I, I I went to work at the General Motors Tech Center, and uh, and we started a uh, a robotics joint venture with. Uh, a uh, Japanese company called Fanuc. And, in the uh, early days, on in the, in the early days, that's when yeah. robots were high tech. Super. How did yeah. that? Do, did you get the chance to go over to Japan as part oh, of that? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think I probably went over there seventy times. I mean, we were always coming and going. So, sure. and the company ended up to do uh, great. We became the industry leader by a factor of three. So, yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay, then you left there, and uh, was it uh, Resna? Is that what you went to next? Yeah. So I, so I, I left um, Detroit, headed out to Silicon Valley hooked up with a bunch of PhD scientists from the IBM research labs and we started a company called RASNA which is in the mechanical engineering software area and uh, ended up to be very successful and we sold it back in 95. Good. How'd you like go? Uh, that's a bit of a change from the Midwest out there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like the United Nations out there. So, I mean, it was... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and then, of course, the next one is you were the business you're the uh, co-founder and former CEO of Ariba right. in 96. Right. We started Ariba in 1996. I actually grabbed a, a fair number of, mm -hmm. uh, of RASNA people and uh, took the company public in 2000, and, and now it's a billion-dollar public software company. Okay. And you're, still, you're not with them. Then, then no. did you found the, your, the three points? Right. How so, did that come about? Uh, that's, uh, it's an investment holding company, so I, I work with uh, other high-tech 
uh, companies, and I, I advise the CEOs and, and do and do investing. Right, and in Silicon Valley, that's pretty good. Now the well, I guess we'll move on to the board. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did you happen to hear the, 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 the governor call you? How did you get the I did. I got a call from the governor's office about two and a half years ago. And he said, hey, next time you're in the Midwest, I'd like to sit down with you and chat about Purdue. So we chatted. And <laughs> next thing you know, he asked me if I'd <laughs> oh, serve on the Board of Trustees. Hey, that's very nice. OK, so you came on in 207. We'll talk about some of the committees that you were on. And of course, then the president, new president, Dr. Jeske was so too. so. Dr. Jeske's last board meeting was my first, so I at least had the honor of uh, sitting on the board with uh, President Jeske. Okay. Um, and then uh, I was on the uh, finance committee and physical facilities committee for okay. uh, for my okay. first two years. And and then uh, the student trustee was Jill, was Jill Steiner came on then right. afterwards. Didn't exactly. She? Yeah. I got a chance to interview her. She yeah. Or she uh, was she. After she before she graduated. Yeah, she's sharp. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Very and she, nice. I guess, got a job with uh, one of some places. I want to say Dow. Is it uh, Dow Agro? Might Something Dow like Agro. that. She had yeah. interned with them, I mm -hmm. believe, and that's what she was telling me. Um, well, let's talk about the congratulations on your election to the chairman of the board. Thank you. And uh, quoting what uh, uh, at the dedication of the Tim McGinley mm -hmm. Plaza. You said when you think of McGinley, you think of three words, leader, mentor, and legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also you got new members, Don Thompson, uh, Michael Burdoff, and you got a new student trustee this right, year. Right, right, yeah. Tyler Teckle from yeah. Texas. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's talk about, well, we had some things like the, the budget for some of the researchers. So you've got really the operating includes the general fund. Mm -hmm. So you want to make a couple comments on that? Sure, and yeah. So It's, it's uh, been kind of... Yeah, and challenging it's in these challenging economic times, you know, we've met several times with the governor and, you know, he, he shared with us that the state revenues aren't getting any, you know, aren't growing. Right. And uh, so he asked us if we would uh, we cut out of the budget. So that happened with all the public institutions in the state of Indiana. So we're going through that, you know, right, right. now, making right. some tough decisions right. uh, and really uh, trying to not lose uh, anything that we're doing, especially with the high goals we've set in terms of uh, academic standards and those kind of things. And so the strategic plan. With right. our strategic plan. Yeah. Right, yeah. That, now the general fund, and then of course, then you have the $500 fee, so there was quite a bit of discussion this year on the budget. Well, yeah, when we, when we had the whole uh, sure. tuition issue, and you know, I think it was my first week on the job, I testified in front of the State Budget Committee and shared with the State Budget Committee produce eighth in terms of, uh, in the Big Ten, in terms of tuition. So we've got a great, you know, it's, it's really a great value. It's a great bang for the buck. So. That must have been an interesting, uh, yeah, that interesting times, though. Yeah, right. Right. absolutely. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and, but as you, the chairman, it's diff how do you handle some of these, the hurdles such as that, like the, the cuts in funding and maintaining the quality, that, that mm -hmm. really is a, mm -hmm. a very big challenge, is it? it? It is a big challenge, and we're fortunate we have a great president I know, in, in right. France and uh, a very capable staff. So, you know, we're looking at things strategically in terms of what are things that we can um, centralize in terms of our overall uh, management system, and, and we're, we're looking at all kinds of areas. Right. Yeah. And you've got, there's a committee that's, that's also There is a committee. And so I think it's, it's been nice that those, the forums have met, and they certainly have been uh, very meaningful to the to the faculty and staff who attended them, and that uh, they're really, you know, very been very informative. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think that's a really important. But then part the, of the other process. thing is that you've got a new provost that will be coming down the pike. That that right. will miss Randy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done a great job. <laughs> oh, um, the master plan. Let's talk for research. Tell us about the master plan. In terms of overall oh, research right. and some of the things sure. that, that, that we're doing in that area, right, yeah. uh, we're going after uh, many areas in terms of uh, research funding. And uh, as, you, as you know, we just got our, you know, the $100 million research grant to, you know, predict earthquakes, um, which is the biggest research grant in, uh, right. in Purdue's history by a factor of four. Right, but then also in the, the uh, making it more of a pedestrian friendly and long around State Street is in the that's mm -hmm. been some discussion, and right. also the green spaces is part of that too. Right, exactly. So to make Purdue even more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, some other activities you've, that have taken place since you've been the chairman. How about the um, uh, the board? Will you increase the room and board rate a little bit this year, and uh, then maybe hopefully the additional building of street, uh, First Street Towers? Right. We we basically took the the housing um, costs and uh, and prices and kind of bifurcated them. So we have some really high end dorms, and then we also have some very you know, good good economic value in terms You're of right. yeah. Okay. Uh, how about uh, the, the, tell us about the expansion of the, so the sports center. I think researchers might be interested in that because yeah. I'm sure a lot of them may have used it or alums would have used it too, you know? Yeah. So what we're doing with Mackey is it's an exciting project and, and uh, you know, thanks to a lot of generosity from, from our alumni. And right. that's targeted to be complete, right. you know, in a little over 18 months. But the other thing is the the sports center. You're going to expand that. Is that the uh, co-rec? The co-rec. Yeah. Right, so the exactly. co-rec is it's a hundred million dollar project, and that was the number one request uh, from the students a couple of years ago. So we're following through on that. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, how about the the R and R? Is that's been affected? Has it repair and rebuild and re. It is so again. we've got to sharpen our pencil, and you know, in right. terms of what we're that's doing big, in that particular. That, that's area. another bit. You got a lot of challenges there. Yeah, right. no question. <laughs> yeah. Then the uh, the uh, Bill and Sally, uh, Sally Hanley Hall, which is going to be that's on the drawing board. Is that correct? There's been some discussion yep. about that. So we're we're doing some uh, project work on that right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the Herrick Lab. Mm -hmm. I interviewed. Um, uh, Professor Cohen, who used to be involved with the Herrick uh, Labs, and it was, it was very interesting, yeah. very challenging, yeah. and really a nice person. And then Marriott, the new hall. Yes. Are you going to have the, yes. the turnover of the dirt this spring? Is that what the game is? So plan? that's, I think that's going to be exciting. We're going to use it as a teaching hotel. So uh, we have such a great uh, academic program in that area, so yes. we'll be able to practice what we preach a little bit. <laughs> Sounds good. And then, of course, you, the new, you had a new dean that came on board, uh, Jeffrey Roberts, which is kind of nice. Um, and then, of course, the search is going on for the new VP of Executive Affairs and Randy for, for the provost right, position. Exactly, right, exactly, exactly. Okay. Giving back. Um, this is very nice. You've given to the Presidential Trustees, the Access and Success Program. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and talk, a little, talk a little bit about that. Well, it's, you know, I think that's one of the areas that we're really focused on, and that is providing scholarships and fellowships for our students uh, to not only to recognize uh, merit, but also to make, make it more affordable for maybe some of those students who right. uh, don't come from a family where the income maybe is at a level that uh, could afford a Purdue education. So. All right. But it's very nice that, that you, and also the the leadership series. Now, that's a, is that something that you've also uh, right. supporting too? So that's you know, the, I think that's one of the great values of a Purdue education is a big focus on leadership. So uh, that's a passion of mine, and and so that was nice to be able to, you know, you put something to do there. that. And to, uh, the what is the Croc Leadership Scholars for? Uh, could you tell us a little about that or what so, that? So that's for. Uh, Does that come out of the the? Uh, that's the that's part of the access yeah. and success. So as opposed to the scholarship just being solely based upon grade point, it's also based upon leadership uh, involvement and activities and community service uh, when the students are in high school. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, th I think for the researchers, I think that was comments that you made at the President's Forum on Leadership, if you make a couple comments, I think this is good. Challenge the process, mm -hmm. inspire a shared mm -hmm. vision, enable others to act, encourage the heart, and model the way. Very, you know, t talk us a little bit about leadership. I think that... Well, I, you know, I call those the, the, the five leadership uh, imperatives. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's something that uh, in these tough economic times, uh, when you think about what we need to do, I mean, we're challenging the process. We're re-looking at everything we're doing. Um, you know, status quo isn't going to work. Uh -huh. We've got to inspire the shared vision, right? And we're really doing that with our strategic plan and the way we've right. involved the diagonal slice of, of, of the university. And then, of course, encourage the heart and, uh, and model the way. That's right. And enable yeah. others to act. Yeah. yeah. And do you do you you've done some guest you given guest lectures to at some of the you get at some of the other schools or uh, am yeah, I correct? Yeah, for in example, that? just uh, a week ago last Saturday, 
I had a chance to, to uh, talk on leadership at the Mortar Board Leadership Conference. So that we had about 400 students across the university, so. Very nice. It's a, and that's a fun and, thing. And they, they interact, and it's, it's good experience for them, and they get a chance to meet you and ask questions and say, I'm thinking about maybe one of these days, I might be one of those things, right? Yep, and, yeah. I, and I think that's, that's probably the funnest part of, uh, of being a trustee is interacting with the students. That's right, and you spoke at the, uh, the May, for the first time, you made a couple comments, didn't you, at the May commencement? Right, right, yeah. right. Uh, okay, um, awards and honors. Uh, you've got quite a few here and a couple I want to comment on. The Outstanding Industrial Engineering Award. Mm -hmm. How did, uh, usually I ask people, sometimes they're a little surprised, how did, did they contact you? Or, uh, yeah, I just, and this is uh, nice because this is the school that you got your degree. Yeah, yeah, I just got contacted and uh, although I don't think I'm probably the greatest engineer in the world, but uh, it sure is a, it's, it's it's a great a nice honor. honor. And really then is. the uh, Ernst & Young's National Entrepreneur of yeah, the Award, yeah, Year of the Award. Yeah. Did, uh, did they touch base with you on, that's very nice. Though. Yeah, so that, that's an award given out on an annual basis for entrepreneurs all, all around the world. So to get that in 2000, that was, that was a big honor. Yeah. How about the, uh, tell us about that Technology Pioneer Award that uh, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Right, right. So How the, did that come about? So tell, tell us a little about that award. Yeah, so the World Economic Forum, uh, you know, takes place in Davos every year. It brings together really world leaders, business leaders, political leaders, and uh, each year they, they they pick a handful of uh, technology pioneers. So, uh, I don't think so. They look there. That's very nice. And then the um, at the industrial you were uh, the School of Industrial Engineering celebrated their anniversary in 2005, and you were one of the honored alums at that. That that's. That's kind of special. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. nice. It's kind of like going home to industrial engineering. <laughs> Tell us about the uh, old master program that you were uh, you were an old master there. Too. Well, that that's a you know that that was a big honor as well because I had been involved with old masters when I was a student. I was on the central committee. Sure, so, that's what you said earlier. So to be asked to to come back to that was was just great. And here again, it was interacting with the students, and I hadn't been back in a few years, so. Yeah. So yeah. that gave you a little bit of a chance. Yeah. When you yeah. when you left the campus, was it a while before you came? Have you participated in the alumni? Part? You probably I, have one in California. I, well, obviously, you do. Yeah. Yeah. I. You know, typically I would come back at least every homecoming, and you know, go over to the Sigma Chi house and you know rekindle. Were some you, of those did you ever hear when Orville Redenbacher came? I was you know, not. We, you know, Orville used to come all the time. And um, some of the alums would bring their children, and they would be eating in the union. And Orville would be there, oftentimes with his grandson. And the children would run up to see him. And he had this little card, and he would give the children the card that said, "Yes, indeed, you did see, or you met Orville Redenbacker," and they loved it. That is great. They loved it, you know. And then they'd tell yeah. their family. They really impressed their family with that. Uh, how about the um, extraordinary boilermaker? That's another nice one, and you get that, and the stands in, uh, at the stadium, right in Ross Aid. Yeah, and that that was a that was a great honor. And have <laughs> President Chisky. Yeah. Oh, that's got that's kind of nice. And then distinguished engineering alumnus. Mm-hmm. That's that. Uh, who, the, who? How did you find out about that? Uh, I think it was just the president's office contact. And they touch that. base with mm -hmm. you. That's yeah. that's nice. Um, you're the co-founder of the. Children's Autistic Network. Mm -hmm. Could you tell, tell mm -hmm. us a little about that? I, I have a really good friend who's one of his children are, are, is autistic, and uh, they really didn't catch it in time. So this is an early intervention center that we started together, uh, and I, I just think that's is a really a noble cause. Is it a cause. national? Uh, what a network it's, is it, it? it? It's located in uh, in Michigan and does state of the art research. So uh, all type of universities. Um, you know, kind of uh, are involved with this, so, yeah. That, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. The um, Sigma Chi, you're a significant, uh, they selected you for that. That's kind of, that's, well, you've been, you were the national president at one time. Right, yeah, Yeah. Few that gave you a chance to uh, do some traveling and, mm -hmm. how many, are there chapters? There's uh, about 220 different chapters in the United States and Canada, so. I probably had a chance to go to half of them. And, <laughs> you still uh, have more to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
The uh, Opportunity International Board of Governors, mm -hmm. go, what, uh, tell us a little about that. Opportunity if you would. International is the biggest issuer of microloans in the world. So uh, we operate in about 50 different countries. And a uh, typical loan is about $100, lasts about six months. And the payback rate is like 98%. And uh, it really helps a lot of people that, you know, they couldn't get money from anybody else other than loan sharks or something like that. Sure, they don't even right. have a bank account. Yeah. It's, do, uh, do they have offices throughout the, uh, the, the U.S. and is it, or is it, it's international, so it's they're around the world? All, all around the world, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, you're teaching, uh, I started to mention that a little bit earlier, um, at Harvard and Stanford. What uh, is well, the I've major? Well, I've gone in and I've done some classes and we had some cases done on RAS and Ariba, so that that was always yeah, fun. That's yeah, that's kind of good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little about how family, do you, um, children and... Uh, I do, do yeah. Any of them get, come to Purdue? Uh, not yet. Okay. So I, uh, my oldest is uh, my daughter, Monica. She's 23 years old. She graduated from... Uh, Princeton studying biology now she's working uh, out in New York and then I have a son currently who's at studying mechanical engineering at USC okay and then I have a senior in high school who okay. who who yeah. knows maybe <laughs> might come to Purdue someday <laughs> that's all right <laughs> um, do you have a favorite Purdue tradition oh boy um, or you can have more than one. Yeah, Sometimes I when I say to people, they say, oh, maybe I have more than one. I said, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think my favorite uh, tradition is really just coming back and getting together with a lot of the, the folks that I went to school with, and you know, whether it's on campus or at the Simakai House. Or right. Do you try to come back for quite a few of the games? That's a, uh, even living in California is a mm -hmm. little bit challenging, but you yeah. try to. Yep, I've always come back for at least a few games. Yeah. So what, this year was really interesting. Yeah, it was when, when you beat Michigan, Ohio State, and, Indiana, and, that's and Illinois. That's the only team we, that they lost to was Purdue. Yeah, yeah. So was, I was I was over at the Purdue Club in Japan, and I and uh, I was giving oh, an update on Purdue. Oh, when the game was Purdue. being played. No, it was oh, just, it was around the Thanksgiving time, so the season had just ended. And uh, they got all excited about that, all our alumni over there in Japan. <laughs> What other uh, alumni activities do you, have? do you are you participate in California or yeah uh, have you yeah and we've got a we've got a very large alumni group out in California especially in the Silicon Valley area um, so a lot of Purdue grads out there a huh? lot of Purdue grads out oh, there oh that's kind of yeah, nice absolutely um, how about an outstanding event in your life you think of something an outstanding event a Purdue event could be any event I leave that open hmm. Well, I think it was yesterday at the Super Bowl. See my fraternity brother, Drew Brees, win <laughs> the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, is there something that, that I either n neglected to ask or some topic you want to return to? I'm going to leave it in your shoes. Anything as you look, looking ahead and um, some of the challenges that are, st that are still down the road, yeah. initiatives? Well, well, I, I think one of the uh, big areas of focus uh, for the trustees is really working with the state government in terms of an, an integrated strategy for higher education in the state of Indiana. Right. So there's a lot for us to do there and really lead the way uh, in terms of Purdue being the leading research uh, university in the state. So that is a big area of focus. Why we I increase our, you know, our academic standards, we're continuing you know, to do that, we're continuing to give back to the state and the whole area of, uh, of engagement. And then obviously, uh, world-class research. So we're doing a lot in those areas. So we're moving. Right. We are just raising the bar in all those different areas. And it's, it's a, and the challenge is a word that just keeps reverberating because it really is. And it's mm -hmm. initiatives that, that go along with it, mm -hmm. I think. Absolutely. So any, any other thing that you can think of? I think, I think okay. that's good. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you got My it. My pleasure. Yeah.